Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Bonsai Garden with me, Mark Sanders. Uh, it's nice to be back. Um, just a few uh, obstacles <laughs> to get over of late. Uh, sorry I haven't been on, um, but um, we've um, uh, had a few problems and sadly we lost that just before Christmas. So, um, you know, it's been really difficult and uh, I, have to look, I have to look after my mum and my siblings, of course, because I'm a big brother. But um, we're sorting everything out and it's all okay, we're fine. Um, as regards to my cancer treatment, um, I was up in London at the Royal Marsden having the immune therapy and sadly it didn't, it didn't really work in the end. Um, it, it, it got some um, cancer it got rid of, um, which is good. And now I'm going on another one uh, this week on Wednesday up in London. So it'll be full body scan MRI, then blood test, and then a consultation with um, one of the doctors there. So it's I'm, I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine. Um, but um, as you can imagine, with everything else going on and um, it's slowed everything up, I just haven't had the time to do anything. All my plants got a bit neglected. Um, but anyway, I'm on top of it. I've gone round the ones in the garden. Everything looks okay. Um, I don't think I've lost any, which is good. Um, but I thought what I'd do. I'll come on and do a little little tiny video. Because um, I saw these little, um, lovely little holly bushes, um, which I picked up from mother-in-law's garden because they were growing everywhere. So I just picked them out. They're only tiny little things. So I thought I'd put them in a, a, a little bonsai pot. And that one has been wired. I've just taken it off because it's just starting to bite into the, the, the bark. So I'm getting rid of that. And... I've got a, I've gone for a two point no is it two point five yeah two point five mil wire a little bit thicker um, that was the the one I put on but it, it just seems to not be strong enough because I wanted to put a little bend at the end so what I'm going to do is poke that into the earth and that's it. just hold it very steadily and going clockwise I'll wrap it around winding the leaves. And also it's very prickly of course. Been a holly bush, but um, I thought it'd be a bit of something something different. Um uh, this experiment really, just something new to to play around with. And um once I get it to where I want it, I think that's gonna look really nice. So go gently as go. I don't want to snap anything off. And I should just get one more out of that. That's about it. I should cut one off just there. That's okay. Just want to now just bend that slightly kind of towards the window and a little bit more of a bend in it. it for now so it's, it's developing into that traditional S shape which is really good and a cocktail stick just which has got akadama very fine akadama which I'm not very keen on I thought I'd try it out and um, it just makes a real mess especially when you water it it's all it just floods out and comes over over the top so what I'm going to do is um, replace that. I've got some uh, ordinary gardening uh, chippings. So for the, they, they have been washed and obviously these are a lot bigger so they're not going to come floating out over the top. So I'll leave those there. So, but I'll, I'll keep what I've got here. I don't want to disturb anything. So it's just a general tidy up really enough. So I saw, I saw them out of there and I thought well, that needs the wire off. And when I felt like it, because of all the medication I'm on now, makes you feel very, very tired. 
but nonetheless it's nice to be doing doing this and I'm glad I'm here to be able to do it so I'm not complaining. Anyway, I hope everybody's okay out there and you're fitting well. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's the kind of shape I want to do. I'll get this top to come around over the, over the top of the plant and then I can bring it out towards the front and up again and that's how I want it, want it to be. And considering that was only a tiny little thing like that and it's grown very, very well. Really pleased with that. Um, been out and all the frosts we had, the snow, and yeah, a very hardy plant is the old holly. And not only that, it's nice when it's got the red berries on, so that's really nice. I'll put that on there. Got another one <coughs> that I stuck well, I didn't. Yeah, that was from Mum's place as well. So, again, with this one, which has grown, as you can see, from about there, that's all new. That's grown, I would really chuckle that one. Uh, so I don't need, I don't need big thick people out because it's going to be quite bendy, isn't it? Right. Um, okay. Uh, what size is that? So uh, this is a two mil. I think I can use that. That seems right. Two mil. Let's measure it approximately. And we should be. I tell you what, I have so missed doing this. And I've been sat there thinking, I've got to get back to this, I've got to get back to it. And then, of course, everything just went a little bit wrong. Uh, but um, anyway, I'm, I'm glad that I can actually get out here now and do something. So I'm just going to pop this. Um, this is a 2 mil wire. Let's get this one round. Careful not to snap it. <laughs> so that's going on quite nicely. Yeah. It's beautiful. That is just absolutely right. That's really good. Okay, right, leave that one. stop shaking you can see those that's a lovely little thing so uh, right, so we can get it into some kind of shape so without doing too much damage we'll go around it's like stirring a pot Sting around and around again So basically that's that's that one and I um, got the pots from charity shops and drilled holes in the bottom. Um, that's just ordinary compost in there. Very happy with that. And um, the plant is obviously happy as well because it's nice and, nice and healthy. And so that'll be it. That's gonna really be nice um, as the warmer weather comes in. And we should be uh, having a treat, seeing what they're going to be looking like by Christmas. That'd be great. The other project I had <coughs> is uh, some sweet chestnut, sweet chestnuts, and I picked these up um, at a house that we were visiting. It's uh, a, um, a trust house, and, and Julian and myself are members. And um, it's lovely walking around the grounds and seeing the gardens and everything. And they had this, I think it was over a 400 year old sweet chestnut tree. And it was all cordoned off, you couldn't go and touch it or anything. Luckily for me, all these lovely chestnuts were falling on the ground outside of that area. And I decided, I think I'll try growing those. And um, so that's, that's what I've done. I put, the, I put these in the fridge uh, for stratification just to trip them into growing and they've been in there 
a few months, maybe three months, I think. And I've got a little thing I, look, I wrote on there, um, uh, February, March. So that's that's when I thought well, I'll take them out and then let's see what we've got. Put them in the bag, just really just down. That's all. And let's see what we've got. Yeah. So there we go. We've got plenty there. Uh, you've got the lovely. <coughs> you've got the tap root, which is that one, and then you've got the main leaves just on on there you can see the leaves that one there so we'll, we'll plant it up i'll just put it in a pot i'm only going to put it in a small pot for now and then once um they start growing just a little bit more i think you can cut off about a third of the tap root because that one's going to take off because it's going to go down because that's what holds the tree up so we're going to put those in in a pot and then we'll see how we go um there's another nice healthy healthy tap root and a little shoot on the top just about there nice little root and tap root and this one here yeah, this one's that's that's ideal look at that one the tap root there and then i'll also plant that one now and um what do we use so recycle some nice little cups there to cardboard so I'm going to use those because they're taller and um, I'll put some uh, put some little bits uh, a few chippings in the bottom so we've got some good drainage so that's what we've got only a couple and then I've got some uh, bonsai compost they seem to like it okay because they've been so just a little bit for now and then what we'll do we'll I we'll don't do too much damage we'll put we'll just lay it out of there like that. how much more So the rest of the bonsai is in the garden. They they look okay actually. They've got new 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 shoots. Oh well, yeah, they have got new shoots. And also, um, they just look quite healthy. All the buds on them is just absolutely lovely. I uh, absolutely love that time of year because it's uh, you know new beginnings. You know, it's, it's, and it's great. New beginnings. Let's let's hope it's a it's a good one. So there we go. Don't want to press too hard, don't want to be too rough for them. And I've got some rainwater, not tap water. I've got a big barrel down the bottom there with loads and loads of with uh, yeah, loads of um, rainwater. Can't get me words out today. Okay, right, so just a little bit of water on there. So we'll see how that goes. So let's let's hope they enjoy that. Sat in that cup for a bit, and see if we can. We got some more there. And let's see what we got there. And that's a tap root only. That one. I don't think there's anything there. And what we will do then? I can put that one in a cup because it has some leaves. Let's get a few of those. That cup doesn't look as broken. That'll be okay. A few rocks in the bottom there for drainage. I've got some recycled stuff in there. It's all a mixture of really good bonsai. Um, we've got sphagnum moss in there. That holds the moisture, and it's, it's good for the plants actually. It helps helps um, help the roots to grow. And yeah, it's, it's good stuff. And, uh, and 
that's uh, Peter Chan, a um, great gentleman. Um, he uses a lot of sphagnum moss. Uh, right, so I've got a nice little shoot coming out there, so I shall just plonk it there and I'm gonna just bring a level of the soil up. Nice to have a bit of fun with this. I thought, well, I've, I've got everything out of the garage because I bought a lot of my dad's stuff back uh, to sort through. Got lots of tools and things, and uh, so I've got them in the garage. So I bought this out here. And I thought, well, I might as well do a small video, get back into it. I might not sound particularly very good because of the drugs that I'm on. It can it alters your speech and um, makes you feel a little bit drunk. <laughs> which is not helpful when you're doing this well, so I got a bit restricted on driving as well so uh, anyway that's that just a little bit more around the edge there there's a heck of a root tap root so let's see if I can uh, break that down yes a bit of compost and then um, what else have we got to cut I suppose yeah there's a there's a quite a few projects I've got out there that I've, I can't do really till the spring now but I thought well I'll just do this and then um, they can be let's put aside and we'll see how they go I've got a few more to go yet some of them aren't quite ready they don't seem to have the, the amount of root that the other ones do, but I suppose they all grow different rates. And let's put some of their own soil back in, that's nice. And that's damp as well, so if we do that to help them on their journey. Yes, yeah, so I hope everybody's um, enjoying themselves and um, Tom. Hi Tom, <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay, <laughs> I'm alright, so, and all of our other bonsai friends, thank you for your lovely messages and, and prayers, me and Julie really appreciate you and the family, so thank you all very much. Uh, right, I think we're nearly done there. That yeah, looks a bit of fun, a bit of fun, yeah, a little bit of water. We'll put too much in because I've got to shift them. Not right, so I've been keeping indoors for now because we've had quite a few frosts and uh, a, a lot of snow, which thankfully has now melted. I'm going to put those other ones back in the bag. We just need a bit more time. So rather than rush it and spoil anything. Patience is the virtue, and I shall put them back in the fridge. They're quite damp anyway, so I'll put them in the fridge a little bit longer. I've got them in um, these are just sandwich bags, and then you can wash them out, you can reuse them, which I do. So, seal the bag, that's that done. Uh, right, so. That's that. So we got two of those, and also I've got taken lots of cuttings um, from my uh, other um, uh, bonsais, the Chinese Mandarin. I took some little cuttings from the tree because I was pruning it, and put them in a little propagate, propagator. And lo and behold, I've got probably about four or five little tiny bonsais growing now. I planted quite a few bonsai seeds. Uh, they've come up, and it was the silk, silk tree, I think it was called, and they came up to about five, five inches, and then sadly they just seemed to 
not survive very well. I've got two on the window sill out there. One doesn't look very well. The other one has got leaves on it, but it had leaves before. So I don't know what happened to that. So it's all a process of just learning and, and experimentation. So at the moment, that's all right. And also I've been using, um, I think, um, yeah, the specialist feeds. I don't know if anybody uses those. Do you, I don't know if you do. Um, I saw these relatively cheap. And if you nip off that bit there, and then you stick it in the soil, and then that just, every time you water it, a little bit of this feed comes out and feeds the plant. Um, and this is a bonsai drip feeder for healthy growth. Um, and they're not very expensive. And they last for about 15 days. So if you were going away somewhere, um, and they've been well watered, and then they'll have a nice little bit of feed, and they should be absolutely fine. So, yeah. Last, yeah, last 15 days. So that's, that's really good. But you can, I think you can get them on the internet. Um, we got them in a local store here in England. Um, and they were like pence, so not very much money. Uh, yeah, there's another one there, so that's, that one's the same. So yeah, they're, they're very good. And also my cousin, um, he, he's uh, uh, got his own bonsai business and he um, uh, sells a lot of those as well. Um, Keith Davis, yeah, you can look him up on Facebook and also I think he's on YouTube, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, but, um, and it's uh, Abigaveni Bonsai's so, anyway, in South Wales, England. So he's worth a, a look up if you if you do. So right, yeah, that's about it really. So I'm gonna just do that for now, and then once I feel a little bit stronger, I shall do some more. But in the meantime, I put these lovely little things in. It's a, you know, a, a 400 tr year old tree producing things like that, and then you plant them and they grow, and you think that's coming from a 400 year old tree. And it's a magnificent tree, it really is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, that's that's good. I, I do like all that kind of thing. The stories they could tell, eh? So, anyway, um, there's nothing else, is there? Nothing else. A bonsai. Oh yeah, I use this. This is also very good. Um, a bonsai soluble soluble feed mix. Um, it's it's got little crystals inside, and it's got a little little tiny spoon for your 0.5 mils of of that. So, and it's it's really good. Yeah, and and that's per litre, so you can. You can, um, I think it's, uh, it's just like the little crystals really. And it, it really does work really well. The plants love that. So that's another good good feed. Because some plants or some bonsais like different things. They're not all the same. Um, it, it depends on what type of bonsai you have. And they sometimes they require like, different types of, of feed. Um, but you'd have to look into that as far as I'm aware because they've got all these different numbers for them which I don't understand about that bit but um, if you read it it's, it's, it's a lot clearer but um, right so that's that yeah so everybody, everybody's okay I'm alright I've just got to keep plodding on busy week this week as I said going up to the Royal Marlston in Surrey and Sutton uh, for MRI that's a full body scan so it's an hour, an hour of sleep, <laughs> and then um, might be able to grab some lunch, and then uh, I think it's all bloods and height and weight, and then consultation. Hopefully, cross fingers they can offer me this because you have to come in uh, to a certain criteria. So uh, as long as my bloods are okay, uh, that'd be great. Because the last one I went up to, they couldn't do it because it was too risky. So. Um, and I've just done all that and uh, not recorded a thing. My microphone's falling off. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching. 
everybody's okay and I'll see you all very very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.